All right, everybody. It's Craft Dad here doing a little tutorial on glass etching. Um, I really like it. I think it's fun. I use uh, Armor Etch here. It's not too expensive if you use your 40% off coupon at Hobby Lobby. I've got six mugs here. This is a set I'm doing for a friend. You want to shake the armor etch up for 60 seconds or so. I've already shook it up for a little bit here. Shake it up a little bit more. Got to open this child safety cap. So It's just a really thick cream that comes out of this stuff. And I just kind of pat it on my stencils. The way I've gotten my stencils uh, aligned is I just put water in the glass and then I pour that water into the next one and then into the next one and then that kind of gives me a uh, marker so they're all relatively in the same spot. Um, these glasses are all going to different people so if they're not all in the exact same spot it should be alright. But you want it to look nice for the people that you're uh, getting them to. So when they have them all at once, they'll like, oh, okay, this stuff's all in the same spot. Got a little drip there. i got to make sure that that does not go off the edge or it will etch the raw glass, and we don't want that. You just really need to put this on pretty thick, though. The thicker it is, I've found the better etch that I get. And then that will uh, make for some pretty nice mugs. I'm just going to pause this for a second and I'll kind of show you when it's done. Alright, I've got all the mugs done now. We're going to let these sit for... Um, instructions say one minute. I let them sit for about two to three. Then I'll start in the order that I uh, put them on. Normally this stuff's really thick and you don't have a dripping problem, but that first one where I was trying to balance the phone and the... Uh, and paint it on there. I almost got a drip, so that would have been a really uh, bad thing. Would have had to redo that one. So what I'll do in two minutes is I'll wash all of these off really quickly, and then I'll start pulling the vinyl as quickly and wash it. And I just try to make sure to it's washed super thoroughly, so nothing else is going to get etched. Forgot to mention that uh, before I do this, I always prep it with rubbing alcohol just to get that glass super clean. It tends to work a lot better. I've heard people say you can reuse this stuff. I am not nearly that thrifty, and I am a messy, messy person, so I can only imagine that that would go very poorly for me. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to pause this one more time, and then I'll uh, show you the finished product.